dreams really do come true at stop number 16 on News 25's 25 Teams in 25 Days, where the D'Iberville Warriors enter a new era being led by one of their own who definitely isn't offering swimming lessons to the opposition. 25 Teams in 25 Days. Brought to you by champion Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. It is my dream job. I wouldn't trade coaching spots with any other coach in the world, including Nick Saban, Bill Belichick. It doesn't matter. So I love where I'm at. I, I plan on dying here as the coach, you know, and uh, I know that sounds kind of crazy, but the ultimate dream, I just want to be clear, is not just to become the head coach. It's to win a state championship as the head coach of D'Iberville. The pride of D'Iberville High School class of 2002, state champion Josh Ladner, finally realizing his full circle journey as a first year head coach at his old stomping grounds, where he's been an assistant for the last 15 years. A lot of it, you know, has impacted my life greatly, you know, throughout my entire life. And so that's, that's what drives me every day with these kids, you know, as I want them to experience the same thing. Ladner says he tries not to harp on the glory days too much, instead focusing on the unique journey ahead for the 2022 Warriors. After featuring the largest senior class of any team we've ever seen on 25 teams in 25 days last year, they bring back the fewest returning starters of any team we've ever seen on 25 and 25 this year, one, leaving 21 spots completely up for grabs. That is crazy, but you know, that's not going to stop us, man. We work hard. We work hard for this. Yeah, we got to keep working because you know we're the underdogs this year and we just got to show everybody what we're made of. We graduated 35 seniors, so once all they, them left, you just saw guys that we didn't think would emerge just kind of just blossom. And it, it's been really, really good seeing my teammates, you know, step up, get bigger, stronger, faster. I don't know that there's ever been a situation, maybe you could tell me, of where it's been. 35 seniors, I have zero returning tacklers, I have zero returning guys that scored a touchdown, and we have one returner, and he was out six games from a collarbone injury. If you could choose one position to have experience, the Warriors at least have that going for him. The Lone Ranger being senior quarterback Gage Peterson, who now healthy, opens up a world of possibilities for a predominantly wing tee offense that also has the ability to whip it all over the field. Gage, you know, throwing dimes left and right. I think that he'll emerge as one of the top throwers um, in the South, and. And I think that uh, Gage has the talent to be as good as anybody. Peterson, one of 22 seniors this season, alongside the likes of Zion Abraham, London Adams, Davari Kemp, and junior Caleb Booker, leading the way by committee. All they know is success, having seen the last three D'Iberville teams post a combined mark of 29-6 and six under the recently departed Larry Dolan. Perhaps the only real blemish, a playoff record of just 1-3 during that stretch, including a pair of one-point losses to Northwest Rankin in 2020 and Warren Central in 2020. 21. I do remind him of that. Now, we, we'll go back to scenarios like Northwest Rankin. We lost to Northwest Rankin uh, because we couldn't get a first down on offense. Or I may say, you know, like against Warren Central, we were on a drive to score. We were getting eight, nine yards of carry, gashing them, and we fumbled the snap. That fuels us. Like, like Coach Lanners, we had a speech earlier telling us, like, do we want to end up like those guys or do we want to have a new legacy where we don't just go and first round of playoff and lose or do we want to make it you know, past the second round and possibly be the next team to win state for the Abu. All we do is win, that's all we're gonna do. We shouldn't be able to take a loss into account. That's not that's not what we have to do. So as for us, it's either state or it's a disappointment. Last season, D'Iberville's only other loss coming at the hands of eventual Region 4 Class 6A champion Ocean Springs, two weeks after handing Picayune its only loss en route to winning the 5A state title, leaving the Warriors with an overall record of 10-2 and, and a second-place district mark of 6-1. and one. Still not good enough, though, for the black and gold and their sink-or-swim mentality. Dragging the team to the deep end. That's what Coach Liner always says. Just dragging another team to where places they've never been before, you know, just being the most conditioned, like he said, be conditioned like crazy, so we're going to be a team to see this year. Deep water, man, it's uninviting, it's uncomfortable, it's cold, um, and sometimes it hurts. You know, you don't know where you're at, sometimes you're feeling your way around. And, and, uh, and so uh, if we can be more comfortable there in the deep end, because everybody's heading there, it, the fourth quarter is the deep end, you know what I mean? And so when we get there, are we more comfortable than the other team is? And, and ultimately, I, that's one thing I can guarantee we will be. The Iberville kicking off the 2022 season with a home game against my alma mater, St. Stanislaus, on August 26th. And here we go with some more coaches' picks. Josh Ladner going with Cafe New Orleans as his favorite Diaberville meal. And then how can you say no to Mississippi native Jerry Wright's favorite all-time player. And then the obvious choice on favorite championship moment, his 2002 Warriors winning it all in Class 4A.